Hi. In this video, at the end of the day, we'll be able to measure the conductivity of a sample and at the same time the total dissolved solid of a sample. So first of all, this is the sample. You use the sample to rinse um, your equipment three to four times before actually setting up the sample inside of it. So actually before this video, I mean before I started videoing, I've already done the cleaning. So what I do is to collect this pipette, put it inside, fill it up, discard it, do it three to four times, and it's ready to, to measure your conductivity and your uh, total dissolved solid. So now, I already have the sample inside ready. I just use the pipette and try to make sure there is no air bubble in the water that you're measure in the sample you're measuring. And when you're done with that, everything is good. You just come and you press the TDS, Total Dissolved Solid. And we are using the uh, ultrameter for this measurement. So we press the Total Dissolved Solid. So right now it's giving us 2249, 2249, 2248 within that range. So I like to look it. So what we'll have is 2248. I will record that value down and still with the same sample I will, now I want to measure the conductivity of that sample and here COND means conductivity and I'll press it so it's giving us 31 15 31 16 between that range 31 15 and 31 16 so 3116. So that is the value for the conductivity. So at the end of the, this video, we we're able to measure the total dissolved solid of a sample and then also the conductivity of the same sample using the same equipment, the ultrameter. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and thanks for viewing.